Hello guys and thank you for tuning in to another video by Geek Together. Today I'll be telling you or showing you how to deploy OpenAppSec as an add-on for Nginx. Nginx is an open source web server that can also be used for load balancing, caching and more. In this case, if you have an Nginx server or if you have Nginx running as a reverse proxy for your application, I'm going to show you how you can secure that using the OpenAppSec um, web application firewall. And without wasting much time, we're going to go ahead and start the installation and setup for the OpenAppSec add-on for Nginx. The first thing you want to do is obviously have an install for Linux with nginx installed um, so here we have nginx the version is 1.24 you want to keep that in mind because it is going to be important later i'm going to tell you why okay so now that we've confirmed that we have our nginx installed by the way if you don't already have nginx and a web server running to install nginx it is just to run apt install nginx and you're going to follow the instructions and that's going to install. But all of that is way beyond the scope of this video. This video assumes that you already have a web server running um, either with Nginx or being proxied by Nginx. Once you have all that set up um, and you've made sure everything is working fine, the first thing you want to do is go through the instructions from OpenAppSec and install the add-on. So before we start that, I'm going to show you that we have a working server here. I'm just going to go to lab.gigtogether.com. So if you go to lab.gigtogether.com, you can see here that I have a test website running with the password and the username admin admin. So it is just a basic website, nothing too important, but we want to use this as an example to run with open up site. So I'm going to log out and we'll head back to the command line. So once we're here, the first thing we want to do is run the first command to download so we can install open apps. I'm going to paste the command. So this command we're using, we get to download the open apps install, and then we're going to make it executable by using the chmod command. So once you do that, the next thing we want to do is run the open app sec script and we want to do auto. So once you run that, if you notice, this is going to fail because we are currently running an unsupported version of Nginx. So you see here, um, the version found is 1.24.0 and that is an unsupported version for open app sec. It refers us to the documentation. Great, that's fine. Um, so if I go down here and I open up the supported versions, I downloaded this from the OpenAppSec site. We are currently do running um, Ubuntu Noble. If you run a different version of Linux, you can look for that here. By the way, I have this link down in the description section below as well. And we don't see 1.24 here. So we either need to have 25 um, up to 27 so there's a fix for that too i do have the instructions of the full commands from nginx website down in the description section below as well but since we're following this video we're just going to copy and paste those commands so we can get this done quickly so mine instead of copying and pasting the commands i made a script called nginx.sh the link to the script is linked down in the description section below so you can copy and paste that as well to make this easy for you so this script is from the official nginx um, documentation and um, basically i copied and pasted the commands uh, so we can make it easy for you just use the script and it does everything um, the script is going to install Nginx version 1.26. I had some issues with 27. That's why I changed it to 26. Um, so by the time I post this video, you know, I would have uh, made some changes to the script to accommodate. But you can use the script. It's easy. Um, 
obviously if you wanted to make sure there's nothing in the script that is not going to work for your environment before you run it great but other than that everything is good um, so we're going to save that and once you do that you want to do ch mode um, plus an x uh, followed by the engine x dot sh um, so once that's done we're just going to run the script and it is going to either upgrade your nginx to that version or it's going to install you an nginx for that version so once that's complete here we can do nginx v you see we have 1.26.2 so we're going to clear the screen here real quick and we will go back to our documentation so you can see um, it is compliant 1.26.2 um, so we're going to run the installation and see what yep. so open AppSec found a supported version so it is going to go ahead and install itself um, it wants an email you can either skip this but it doesn't matter I'm just gonna pull test at gmail.com um, once again you can do enter to ignore or do an email So once that's complete, that's all you need. Now you are ready to go into the Open AppSec web UI, the SaaS application, and connect your um, Nginx to Open AppSec. The next thing you would normally do is, or I would recommend you to do, is install um, the advanced machine learning model. So by default, OpenAppSec is running with the basic model. Um, the advanced model is better and they recommend that because it's more accurate for production use. Um, I have a video that's down in the link description below that shows you how to install uh, the advanced model, download it and install it on your Open AppSec um, add-on for Nginx. It doesn't matter if you're using Nginx or Nginx Proxy Manager, it is done the same. Um, so we're going to skip that for this process. We're going to head straight over to the Open AppSec website um, or the UI. You go to openappsec.io, you want to go to login. And once you get to login, you're going to enter your username and password. In my case, I am already logged in. So you want to go into profiles. And once you get the profiles, you want to use the new profile option here. And we're going to create a Linux embedded agent profile. So once you select that, it is going to ask you for a name. So this, we're just going to call this lab, um, but you can give it whatever name is appropriate for your environment. You can see here for the deployment, we have options such as Nginx, we have Kong and um, API 6. So for this, we're using Nginx, we're just going to leave that as it is. Um, you really don't have to change anything. So we're going to do, um, this management um, once that's done uh, that's all you need so you need to go ahead now um, we're going to enforce this okay enforce is basically you're saving it and pushing it out to um, agents that you already have or you're making it permanent before you install your agents so once that's done the next thing we want to do before doing anything else is going to assets and we're going to add a new asset. In this case, we'll add a web application and we're going to call this asset um, our lab. Okay, we're going to go to profiles and then here we want to add the profile we created, which was lab. And once you do that, now we're going to add the URI or URLs for this site. So the websites or websites that are behind Nginx, um, you're going to add them here. In our case, we have just one website, which is our test website for lab.geektogether.com. So we're going to do that lab.geektogether.com. We'll do the plus sign to add it. 
and then your only option if you're using the um, community edition here is source ip so we're going to let it be a source ip um, if you have trusted sources you can add that but that's beyond this video i'll make future videos in detail about what you need to do in here so that's all we need um, for threat prevention we're just going to leave everything as default for now we're going to enforce publish and once that's complete we're going to head back over to profiles the lab profile we created and now we want to complete setting up our open appsec add-on for nginx so we'll copy this one more download okay we'll paste this one more download and then for the first agent you want to use um, the a the first option here the first command and then after that any other agents that you're attaching to this profile you use the second one so this is our first one for this profile we use that one depending on you know the speed of your internet this might take some time you're just gonna give it a second for it to get complete and once that's complete we're going to continue yep and then we get a success message now you can see our agent is successfully registered so we're going to go back to our browser you can see it's yelling at us telling us we need to set up the advanced ai model for enhanced accuracy um, which once again i have the instructions to do that down in the description section below okay so we're going to close this completely if you go to agents now we can see our agent here test server we have a public ip um, and um, our profiles that is used you can see for this one is using the simple model once you install the advanced model that's going to change to 2.0 advanced model um, so we'll just leave that and we're going to go back to assets we'll open the lab we'll go to events um, we don't have any traffic in here yet so we'll set that to auto refresh and we'll go back to our lab here we'll okay so i'm going to log in here as admin admin sign in we'll successfully sign on going to do some tests here and just do some basic testing go back and there we go we have some traffic so this brings us to the end of this video we were able to set up open app sec as an add-on for nginx and once we completed that we added that to our open up sec sas application and we tested and make sure we are getting some detection for right now you can change that to prevent and it's going to do the same thing so thank you for watching um, please do not forget to hit the like button and also please subscribe to the channel